Hello, and welcome to the third part of our tutorial on the maze game. Um, first of all, I'd like to add a restart option to the game because it gets a bit boring having to exit the game and restart it every time you want to play. So, how are we going to do this? We're going to add a an object below the maze, so when our little actor falls off and touches it, it restarts the game. So let's do that. First of all, uh, let's unselect everything by pressing the A button. And now I'm going to add a mesh plane. Okay, there it is. I'm going to move it to the center of our maze. Press the 7 key to have a top view. and the one key for a side view. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, uh, we need to make this plane bigger so that our object will land on it. Uh, let's go to edit mode and scale 35 times. And there we have our new plane. Left click to finish that operation. Let's have a look at it. Okay. So in theory, if our little person falls off the maze, they're going to hit this, but we need to make it do something. Uh, first of all, let's select our cone. Uh, back to object mode, select the cone. We need to make it, give it a surface that's going to be recognized when it touches something. So we're going to go to the shading box down here, which is the little round box. We're going to add a new link to object and we're going to give it a new material on its surface. We'll call it cone mat. That gives us something to sense. Right, uh, let's select our plane again by right clicking to select and we're going to give it some actions. So off to the Pac Man to the logic panel, uh, we'll make it an actor and we'll add a sensor, a controller and an actuator. Okay, This time the sensor is a touch sensor and we're going to tell it that whenever the cone mat touches it, it's going to do something. Link up the buttons for the controller, the sensor, and the actuator. And what we want it to do is to restart the game. So on this button here, choose Scene, and Restart is automatically selected for us. Alright, we're ready to test it out. Let's press the letter P, and we'll drive ourselves off the maze. Yoo-hoo! It worked. That's restarted the game when we fell off. Okay. Now we want to make the gameplay more interesting by having the camera follow our little actor. First of all, let's find the camera. I'm going to go to side view. Ah, oh, there it is. Select the camera. And we're going to move it around. Let's just change our view a little until it's behind our little actor. Top view with the number 7 key. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Good, let's see the side view. That's looking pretty good. Back to the top view. Let's rotate the camera so it's facing the right direction. We'll choose the rotate tool. I'm going to drag the outside bar. Move that around. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's check the camera view by pressing the number zero. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's go in a little closer. Back to the top view. Camera view. Uh, could be could be better. Oh no, that's not bad. All right. We need to connect the camera to the actor so that it will follow the actor around. First of all, make sure the camera is selected in pink. 
hold the shift button down and select the actor as well. The order is important. Now to make the camera the parent of the actor we need to hold the control button down and press P for parent and click make parent. Okay there should be a dotted line between them. Let's see if we can see that dotted line. Yeah there it is. Finally let's go to the camera view and let's play our game. Press P. Okay, nice. We're following our camera around. Might want to adjust the speed settings here. And what happens if we fall off? Ah, ah, ah. And back to the start. Congratulations, you've made your game much better. And uh, we'll do more in the next tutorial.